Welcome to um, our select board meeting on Thursday, February 8th, 2018 at 430 in the afternoon. I appreciate the accommodation by both Kip and Trevor so I can no go to problem. another meeting and we had closed the town hall yesterday so we did not have um, our regular meeting. So thank you both. Um, sure. So let's do the pledge. Okay. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Um, we have minutes from January 10th. Is there any um, issues with that? Nope. I okay. move to approve the minutes of January 10th, 2018. A second. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, well, all those, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I think I've been like too much going on today. Um, you did it right. All right. Um, <clears throat> we have executive session, but not till 445. So, Selectman's comments. Uh, I'll just comment. Um, I went to the marijuana. Um, Thank you for doing that. Sure. I went to uh, FERCOG the other day, um, I guess it was Tuesday morning at 10, they had a um, public hearing, or the Cannabis Control Commission had a public hearing, and they um, allowed everybody to speak and testify before before them and ask questions. There wasn't any give and take, it was all just them taking questions and they didn't comment at all really. So I was hoping for more back and forth, but I guess that'll come at a later time. <laughs> but um, I was able to ask if we, ha my, my main question when I testified was asking if we, um, about consumption, um, um, personal, con per personal consumption, consumption or social Esta consumption, establishments. establishments. Yes. And if you, um, you know, if we, approved a retail, would that, would that qualify us for not allowing a social consumption site in town? So I didn't get an answer back on that, but it seems a lot of people were, had concerns about the social consumption establishments and hoping that they will punt that down for a year or so and while well, they can take a little more time to think about that. So, um, so it was interesting. A lot of people from all over, Amherst has done a lot of work on this already and um, it was good, it was a good meeting. Actually, I saw you and um, Dick on television. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no I'm kidding. I didn't even see that. Uh, I had done some more research on those uh, polling oh, instruments yep. I was talking about. And um, this one seemed to intrigue me a little bit more because of the device seemed to be that much easier to use. And so I called the, the, the company to get a, a, a cost on it. And... Um, in doing that, I asked them if there were any other communities in Massachusetts that use it, and there are four. So I, I reached out to the town of Uxbridge, and I spoke with their town clerk and asked her about the experience that they had, and, and they really loved it. Um, they have a, a website. It's called uh, uxbridgetv.org, and you can go in and look at the archives of their meetings, and you can look up their last town meeting that was on October 24th of 2017 and you can see how it worked uh, for them. And it's, it's a, a real, um, it, it speeds up the town meeting quite a bit. Um, you know, the, when they're asked to vote, they just push a button for yes or no, and the tally comes out on the screen. It comes out as a graph, a lot of different ways. Uh, it's through a computer, obviously, so you can record it, and then you can go back and you can look and see how many decisions were made what the percentage of people in favor or against it. So they're using it for a lot of other things other than just their town, you know, to see what other services they might change or improve or alter or whatever. Mm -hmm. But there was a, a lot of um, How much was feedback. it a unit? This one here came out to be 6000 It was $6,175. That included 200 of the keypads. The keypads are about $30 a piece. Um, and they come, they're all individually registered. So, you know, one of my cons earlier concerns was, well, if people should accidentally take them home and stuff like that. But when they're given out, they're all numbered. So when they get them back, the people don't have to check them in. But when they go through, the, the computer itself will tell you which ones are missing. So they'll have a name and an address to hmm. who might have had it so they can call and say, hey, by accident, did you take this with you? 
The only problem is we'd have to have, I mean, we have 3,200. 1,600 of them? Yeah, we have 3,200 voters, so we ha we'd have to have well, 1,600. Uh, well, not really, because, I mean, Uxbridge has over 5,000 people, and they did, they did buy 800, but at their town meeting, they only had 250 people show up. And I did call um, Barbara, although she's out, um, and Sarah was able to give me the information, and it seems in the last couple of years, we haven't had 200 people at any of our town meetings or special meetings. I know, you know what, and that's why it made me think, because it doesn't matter, I mean, you just have to do it, because um, you, you have to have the capacity, sure. I mean, in case it's controversial or something. Sure. And this other one that you had um, brought up, mm -hmm. it's like $39, a unit for these, and yeah. so it's thirty-nine dollars mm -hmm. times, you right. know, sixteen hundred. So it's it's very expensive. Well, if you did, but these are these are thirty dollars, and, and it's mm -hmm. still a lot of money. I mean, um, but you know, you know what? But, if you're worried that people are um, not coming or afraid to vote, you know what we could do? We could do like Montague does. Is just you know have neighborhoods have a representative and come. Representative town meeting? Yeah, representative. I town think meeting. we're too small. I think I think you have to be a certain size to have a representative versus an open town meeting. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Because I, it I'll seems look like it up, but well, I well think let's so. research that because that I mean there's so many things that we could spend money on and if we're spending thirty nine dollars or well, thirty dollars a unit, I think unit, we could do that if we changed money. the charter. If we had a charter well, for the town. Yeah, but, we, but then we could. I don't vote think on statutory. We yeah, could. I mean it seems like. If that's the situation, then let's let's talk about the representative government because, you know, I don't know. I mean, there's just so much money we could be buying flu vaccine for, or flooring for the seniors or rugs for the elementary school. I, I mean, that's a lot of money, Kim. If you if you even if you well, even if we only did, if we did less than half, say we did a thousand. Do you know That's the names? Do you know yeah, the names but, of the other towns that are using it? Um, I don't have them off the top of my head, but I do have it at home. Just try, one, you one know, of, if the, wondering if the, what the what, size of the towns are. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and and I, I I thought about that being prepared and stuff. Uh, one of the things that I thought of after the fact, and and I could reach out to this woman again, or actually I was going to talk to Barbara about it and and get her a little more involved, is that if this other town seems they use them in the fall time, maybe we could rent them some of their um, devices just to have on hand. We'll use our own, but we could rent several hundred of theirs uh, for so the one day. Yeah. Uh, do they own them or do they? They own them, yeah. But is there pr proprietary software that comes with nope. them that? Nope, it all, they all work, and they're all radio frequency, so they're all different. It doesn't, you know, you can get, uh, you get well, a million of them and everyone would register different, so. Do, do you think this is a real issue in town? I mean, I, I, I'm just curious if you... Uh, I haven't I know. never heard anyone complain to me, Kip. Maybe you should have people call But maybe, maybe there is. All right. so maybe I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I, 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 a lot of people have asked me, because I ask people, why don't they don't go to town meetings and stuff like that? Yeah. And they, they feel that um, if, they, if they choose not to go with a crowd, that you know, people you know, point and who and ah and stuff like that, they feel intimidated. So they bought, they just don't really? even bother coming to town. You know what? The and, the, and that's hmm. I think that's part of the issue. I mean, instead of encouraging anonymous, I think I we need to encourage more um, interaction and and civ civility, so people don't feel intimidated. Hmm. Maybe hmm. we need to do something different. Um, I don't know. I think I think it's. Is there a way to? Um Spending to poll at, really at at this town meeting to poll people to see if there's if this is if there's an interest you know say it's I don't know, fifty thousand bucks or what or twenty five whatever it might be for money um, is w would or is there ballot issues this time is, yeah there's ballot I mean right? well is there something that any, we could put on that's really like a, a non money like a non binding like an over an override or a debt exclusion is is ballot anyway. I mean, that's that you know you, you can go and vote no right I was just trying to think if there's a way to capture um, sentiment in, in the well, community yeah, and the library how do you been talking about they they polled you know exit you can do exit polling if you want right. and ask the people who should. are there I think you're you're saying that are people who aren't there that aren't coming right that's they what don't I mean if I want to be able to capture I mean, I those yeah, people I mean, too even last year at our town meeting there was a, a 
We could put something one on the, the website. One of the questions was uh, close, and it was voted, it was uh, carried. And people said, well, no, I, I got a different count. And see, this way, it's an exact count every time. Mm -hmm. And everybody sees it. And it doesn't, nobody has to stand there and count. They can just, you know, you have, you can you know, adjust it, but 20, 30 seconds, you vote, and you can see the numbers changing right on the screen. Everybody can, you know. Mm -hmm. And in that 30 seconds, it also has the ability, you can change your vote. It, it only will, so if you, hit something and you go, oh, geez, I, change, I press the wrong button. You can change it. It will record your last change at the end of that 30 seconds. And there's a clock right large enough on the screen, shows the countdown. And if you watch that, it, it really made their town meeting go a lot faster. Matter of fact, when you watch it, it almost seems like it's too long. But nobody's counting, nobody's asking. And, and like I said, you have this chart right there that you can go to mm -hmm. any time in the past. Well, maybe we should set up a meeting with Dan. Um, Graves, who is our moderator, because mm -hmm. he's the one that handles sure. this, and um, see what, how we want to handle it, and or talk about ways to deal with this. Because, I mean, I, I would and feel Barbara, really, I feel really bad that people feel like they can't come to town meeting. I mean, that's terrible. I, I'm, I'm more concerned briefly. about that than these things. Uh, I, I really, I want to yeah, make sure I people mean, feel comfortable in the town to voice their opinion and say what they want to say. And yeah, I mean, I feel like we we need to do that. You know what I mean? Well, but I mean, you, silence you democracy. see it here. There's even at the planning board meeting. You know, there's people who want to speak out, but they they feel I don't know if it's ridiculed or or what it is. They're they're uncomfortable because right. they don't they don't really they can't speak. They're afraid to speak their mind because of it yeah, might just be I've, instant retribution or their neighbor might be mad or something like that. And you know, I, I it's it's I mean we do see it all the time. I mean. If, you know, look at our presidential election. If people have a Trump sign in their front yard, people say, oh, you know, this guy, or mm -hmm. the same thing, you know? And it, 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 it's out there, you know? And I know, but the, So a lot of people will avoid it just because they don't want to deal but, with it. And that's the sad part. But, but it then, is. But we need to solve my, it. My issue is that it's a participatory, participatory government. I really, I'm nervous that we would lose that uh, debate. Um, and just the whole democracy of, I, I want to think about that. I mean, I, I agree with you that it needs, you don't? I do like the yep. the exact vote and that, that may, instead of a show of hands and it can go, you know, like you said, if it's close, then you're counting and, you well, know. This um, doesn't change. But I, I kind of feel like people should be put on their spot for their, for, their vo for their voice. I mean, I think you should have, you should have the conviction of your decision and be able to say it. I don't well, understand. I, I mean, in, in, a, in a real yeah, world. I mean, I don't really understand. But maybe, but maybe you're right. Uh, maybe if people are too concerned. I mean, even the other night, I mean, when you but had that Bernie, um, Bernie moment when you wanted to do the flat <laughs> cola, I was like taken aback. I was almost ready to vote for it. And, and we pro I probably would have <laughs> Trevor didn't want to Let's go, you know, go do there it. again. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> That's all right. The, the, taxpayers, the, the taxpayers pay the burden like they always but, do. That's all right. But I... I don't, you know, but I feel like we can talk to each other, and it's like, but I don't feel bad that you have a position and I have a position. When I was at a town know? meeting myself, and I voted not to appropriate money for a new cruiser. The woman yeah. sitting in front of me turned around and said, wait till the next time you need a cruiser. Now, it didn't bother me at all, but there's it a lot might of people. That's what people, people don't. Yeah. Why would that woman say now? Yeah, and, 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 and that actually, happens all too have often. To make sure that that doesn't but you can't. You'll never be able. You know, people have yeah, the right to speak their mind, and some mm -hmm. people have a strong personality, and some don't. Yeah. And we have I a town of saying. over three thousand okay. voters, mm -hmm. and we have what a hundred, hundred and four people showing up at town meeting. They're divide. They're, they're deciding the financial faith of an entire community. Well, that's why I was thinking maybe we should go to the representative. You know, look into that. Okay. Because, well, you should. I well, mean, that uh, might get I'll more look at this. Yeah. But if you watch that video, you see I'll how much the faster video. the town meeting goes, too. Yeah. You know, so you, this one is the one you're not. I right. This he, is the he one that I had new, gotten. He's got a new one. Got a new one here. Okay. Because okay, this right. one was like 30000 or $40,000. Well, no, actually, their quote, their they're price similar, was only 28 But it was only 2000 I don't know why you say it was. Well, it was $39 per unit for the LCD Blackberry survey one. I, and it was forty nine dollars for the PC phone one per person. You're, you're looking at the wrong thing. These things here, this is what you you get. Well, this little, oh. you, I know you can't see it. This one, the other ones were very simple. Those are what you must have looked up something is a software that you oh, can no, get to I use cell phones and stuff. This is just the 
Okay. You get this little this little contraption here, a clicker. little clicker. This is thirty dollars. Do I have that? Do I have that? Yes. Well, I put one. In. I have it okay. here, and then I don't know. Here you can. Okay. Well, let me let me. Uh, I'll make you a copy. Okay. I'll, okay. Smart, I, I so this one I can throw away because I was like, yeah. behind. Well, I didn't see it. This one is the one I was like, this is, I mean, that's like 30 or 40. I'll go make a couple copies so, so we all have it. Okay. And then we've got this um, scheduled at 445. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, never mind, Trevor, we got it. Oh, you do? Yeah, I didn't realize it was in with the budget stuff. Yeah. All right. I just Sorry, thank you. Um, you well, let me look at this. Yeah, well, and, uh, I want to watch about, the video. You know, well, maybe we can investigate the Montague thing, too. You know, oh. Montague representative government. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't realize that um, that had a minimum size. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, but I think a community might has have to change to be a charter a and population to do that, or like have a charter precinct before you kind of have to switch. You can switch from to from open to open. representative. Okay, I mean that kind of makes sense. I don't want to see open town meeting go away. Well, no, I don't this, either. And what, don't what you were speaking to earlier, but this you were doesn't change anything. You can still have. Like if there's someone in the audience that doesn't like that, they can raise a hand and speak out against. Mm -hmm. them. You can still have that debate. What this all this does is eliminate it's the final vote. When when the uh, moderator says, "All right, cast your vote," then it's all done with. Instead of all those in favor, all those opposed. And it, there, I was reading something online about town meetings in general, and there was a, an interesting um, section where, and I know in our town, everything is. All those in favor, raise your hand. All those opposed, switch around. All those opposed, it changes the vote. Hmm. And you know, and, and it all comes down to intimidation. And so, each per you were saying each person would have a clicker. Yeah. So we would. Is there a record of how they voted? No. You never know how they vote. All you know is that if you have uh, three hundred like people in the room. Yeah, you hit you hit yes but or no. I thought you said that they, the the clicker is assigned to the person when they check in. It yeah. is through so a number. There's a number on it. Right. But it and doesn't so the, it, uh, it it doesn't retain it. It doesn't retain it. All it does all this does is like a okay. TV remote. It just sends a, a radio frequency and it's either for yes or no. Hmm. Well, I, I I think it's really good that you brought this up um, yeah. because it is. I mean, if if you think it's an issue, then. I think we need I, to I'd address like, it. I would like to poll it too and make sure it's an issue. Yeah, before we, we can actually. Kind of money. Um, I can send away. There's a form I can get. I think I want to say, there's a sample that you get, and they send ten clickers with the, the software, so you can actually hold give it, it a try, and see how it goes, and stuff like that. Hmm. But like I said, I was going to speak to Barbara next week when she comes back and have her reach out to this uh, woman in Uxbridge because she 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 couldn't say enough good things about it. Okay. And after watching their, their town meeting go, it, it really went nice and smooth. So. Yeah, I'll watch that. That was the la just last year, she said? Yep. It, matter of fact, if you look up in their archives, it was uh, 10 24 17, and it was uxbridgetv.org. Okay. Um, well, I just wanted to have Board of Health comments, just, yes. um, and then we can go in executive session. Um, okay. There was some complaints about the trains were backing up behind homes on South Main Street. Um, so I wanted it in our minutes so that um, Dick and I can make phone calls to, you know, the You railroad. mean they were stopping before they go through town kind of thing? No, they just park them there. And, and running? Yeah. What are they parking there for? Well, because the train yard is full. I mean, we were having that problem behind Old Deerfield, and they were backing up between um, Eagle Brook and 5 and 10. And... They they move their trains around and and it, what it is is these aren't idling. like the uh, sell it train not that oh. oh, no, no. this these is freight, freight train well, <laughs> and they idle and the the in in a when I you have a, a breeze I got a complaint from a citizen and I forwarded it to Carol because she has some contacts with the rail company and I had not heard from anybody else yeah but um, she was trying to resolve it herself and they promised one thing and then it didn't happen so I she, see well. They're, I mean, they're not really the best to work with. But the problem is if you, you need to make the complaint because it, in the spring and the fall, we have inversions, and it holds the idling 
you know, the exhaust right. down on residents' did, houses. And it, right now it's not such a big deal because it's wintertime, but right. most houses are closed up and there's some, usually a breeze going through. But Did you reach out to the railroad or to the Department of Transportation? Well, um, what we have to do is we reach out to the rail yard, the main group. Pan Am. Pan Am's, you know, like headquarter person <laughs> in Billerica. And then you make a couple complaints and then you can call um, you know the state to complain about that but it's you know it's a long process so anyway right. I wanted it on the record so that we can start the process that also should be a, a, a real public safety thing it is it is a health thing because it is, what it if, is. I mean this just happens we, we approach happens it from a health position but it safety. is a public I mean what if the accelerator starts coming down at 80 miles an hour and there's a parked train there I know is there, is there a pull off or is it just and there is a pull off over there, there but there, oh. that's not right there. It's more in weight. Yeah. But that, you know, that just happened down south somewhere. Oh, All right. People just got killed. And Check me to draft true. a letter and bring it to the meeting next week. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. In the meantime, Dick and I will make some phone calls. We'll start the process. I just wanted to, in our minutes, that we are making a, an effort. Having an official okay. acknowledgement have, of the complaint. I have the phone number for uh, Mr. Tim Doherty at home. And he's the head of the DOT train center. So. Oh, okay. Great. Well, great. Yeah. That would be uh, nice. We to maybe we can call him. him. Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah. be great. Um, and then the other thing I just wanted to mention on the, from a Board of Health is that H3N2 is the, is the flu that is mm. going through, and it's very, very serious. We still have vaccine available, um, and you can come in and get it at Lisa's. Please do. Or go into the Minute Clinic at CVS and get it done. Um, it's still worth it. I mean, it takes 10 to 14 days to have your get your immunity going. But based on what people are telling us is that the flu season is probably going to go till May. So this will give you some protection. And and I know what people are saying that the flu flu shot is ineffective this year, all this kind of stuff. But I just want to explain what happens in the flu virus just again. If you have a shot like for the measles virus, it's the same measles virus I had a shot for, or, you know, got the vaccine for my daughters and kit and sons and my granddaughters. It's the same virus. It doesn't change. The, what happens with the flu virus is that it, um, you get drifts. You don't necessarily get a uh, shift, which is a whole new virus, but you, as it mu mutates during the season from person to person. So mm -hmm. if, if Trevor gets it, he's going to get it and, it, and it might do something in his body and be slightly different when I get it, and then it will be slightly different when um, Kip gets it. But it, it's still, if you took this, if you had the shot, about 17% of the people that take, took the shot would not get sick. The rest, everybody else would get sick, but you would be like a minor cold up to being sick, but you would probably not die. We're seeing deaths. And we are seeing deaths. And that's really Healthy what is too. happening. And um, you need to go to the ER if, if you're mm -hmm. having t um, you know, difficulty breathing and stuff like that. You need to, you need to see be your correct. primary yes. doctor immediately. And, um, and you just can't mess around because this is a very serious, right, this is a very serious flu virus. And um, so if you don't have a shot, go get a shot. It's really worth it. And especially if you have kids, mm -hmm. protect your kids. Um, yep. So with that lovely um, comment, mm. we will go into executive vote to go into executive session. I move we enter into executive session to discuss the reputation, character, physical condition, or mental health rather than professional competence of an individual or to discuss the discipline or dismissal of or complaints or charges brought against a public officer, employee, staff member, or an individual. Um, I vote. Carolyn Ness, yes. Trevor McDaniel, yes. Henry Camosa, yes. Um, we will re we reconvene into open session also. Um, so at... Five, I mean, uh, 4.55, we'll go into executive session. Okay. So um, next item on the agenda is a planning board recommendation request to put in a marijuana pro prohibition article on the warrant and town election ballot. Um, 
I, 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 the only problem with that is, honestly, it's it, the bus has already left the station. Agreed. I and mean, the, the town. The barn. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Whatever you want to say. Um, you know, the town voted for it. Mm -hmm. uh, the communities around us voted for it. So if we don't get together and be proactive, uh, no matter what you feel about marijuana, we're, we're, we need to protect the town. And I am very concerned about social consumption establishments just being able to walk in. Mm -hmm. So we have to have zoning. We just, and we have to have at least the one, based on the 20%, my interpretation of our workshops that we went to, mm -hmm is that if we allow 20% of our liquor licenses, which is one retail establishment, and we use the same overlay district and we're down mm -hmm. over there by the Sugarloaf shops, then it's in Deerfield. It's, you know, isolated from our downtown. It, you know, people that want to walk and feel safe are not near that outlet. I'm not saying that there will be problems, but right. I'm just saying if you are concerned about problems. And the other thing is we need to get on the, you know, get going and figure out, you know, one of the things that has to happen is they have to have a minor diversion plan, you know, a diversion plan for minors. So, mm -hmm. you know, we need to work with the schools to come up with something yep. and um, make them uh, come and do a presentation to us. And we yep. need to agree on it. And um, so, I mean, I feel very strongly that just saying no is, is doesn't matter because it's going to happen. And well, I, 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 why can't we go forward with our, our zoning, but also put this question on the, the ballot as well? I mean, if if the attitude of people has changed in the community, I think we should know. Uh, and if it hasn't, then we'll be prepared to go ahead with our zoning regulations. A lot of people have expressed concerns to me that um, when they first voted for it, they thought they looked at it as a financial benefit to the community. Mm -hmm. And now that they've seen it evolving, there's more and more questions about it. Um, and, and I always feel um, uneasy making a decision for the whole town. I mean, I'm here to help run the town. And anytime there's a decision like this, I mean, how does it hurt to just ask the people? Again, if, if the community feels in favor of it, then it's going to pass, and then we go on, and we're all prepared. But they did vote already. They voted. We they, had the they vote. They did, but that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, you know, and even now, we don't know all of the answers. I mean, you, you just Correct. earlier, you know, you asked a question about something, and the state can't even tell us. So, you know, a lot oh, of people Oh, I know. This is like... Well, what happens about this? And, what, you know, geez, maybe I shouldn't have done this. And it's... Mm -hmm. I don't know, and, and you know. It, can we? Can we just? I, I'd like to do more research and see what happens on the, you know, at the meetings, the okay. planning board meetings. Okay. Because if the planning board is is going to be proactive on this, then I'm okay with it. But if if they're not, then I, I mean, we what just mean proactive with. Then what, the, what I want on the ballot is that it's going to be, and, and what it's on the warrant is it's the select board doing. Uh, just like we do for medical marijuana. We, we are the oversight and licensing board for medical marijuana. So it would just... Oh, you mean you... Oh. So well, I, I guess I want to see what's happening from the planning board. Are they going to be proactive and step up, or are we going to have to just take control of it? Mm -hmm. So can we just... Can we just hold on this? Because I, I agree I, with you. I don't have In a the problem. Sense, we can wait I have a no, I have never have a problem pulling the town. Yeah. I mean, I feel mm -hmm. very strongly. You just, you need to be all the time connected. That's why I get sad when we don't have turnouts. Or, right. or I, and, and truly, I get sad that you feel you you feel that people are coming. Well, it, you know, it's funny because you know, over the last couple of years, especially you know, in, in years past, I mean, we've been around here forty-five years. You know, people say all kinds of things. You know, they're just talking and stuff like that. And you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now that I've been involved, you know, people look at me a little differently and say, you know, why is this, you know, and I, the first thing I say to them now is, did you go to the town meeting? <laughs> well, I don't go there because I said, well, don't bother me, you know, because you've got you, to need, take, you need to go and, to and say your yes. piece there. That's where, I said, it's because the select board can make decisions, you know, departments can make decisions, but it's the town who appropriates the money to implement all these things. Absolutely. And that's where the buck finally stops. And if you're not going to take the time 
you know, it's a pain in the butt. I'm the first to agree. I know. But if you can't invest three hours of your time once a year right. to make sure your town is managed the way you feel is appropriate, you know, that's. I agree completely. I, Kip. I agree completely, Kip. And but I and I and I have no problem when trying to you know, respond to people because I feel. I mean, we are. My, that, I mean, that's what's and wonderful and, and, about and my worry government. is that my worry is that um, that we put our head in the sand and nothing gets accomplished and we I wind know. up with you know regulations come out, license is done, we don't have our zoning planned out, we don't have our tax base done. All that needs to be done be, as well. That's right, and I, and I think they can, it could. Be, and I and I don't disagree with that and, at all. And I I'm, would encourage us to go down that path. But I guess my point was that. What harm does it do to ask that It doesn't, well? you're right. And, and so, you know, we do spend, I mean, I believe that I am very strong about saving money on all aspects of local government. But if we have to spend, I'm just gonna pick a number, or I'll just say a lot of money to get all of these uh, bylaws in place, and then they're not used because the town rejects it, then so be it. You know, we are prepared, we did our job. We need to prepare. Right. You know, and, and it's, well, that's what I worry about. Right. And, well, uh, and I don't think that the planning board has any problems with going forward with you know doing all of that homework. Uh, I just know that there are some strong members, uh, some members who have strong feelings about this, and it, it's it's tough when you have a strong commitment to your own personal beliefs to you to know, set them aside. You know, well. <laughs> Because Sometimes that's what easier. you need to do. That's what you need to do. But yes. I'm just saying, it doesn't always work out. I way. agree. I agree. It is hard. Um, so you've decided to not decide right now. Yeah, we'll just table it for next it week. It next or week. No, no, wait. Um, when is the, the planning board meeting is the 20th. Yeah. And then the public hearing, did they set a public we, hearing we day? It's probably going to be on the 12th of March. Yeah. yeah I, it's um, down there. Because we can't, it has to be two weeks after we... After we post it, so if we, yeah, we came next, up with the whole schedule, and that's right. the date that, okay. in terms of okay, notice okay. And all of well, that. let's let's table it and decide what to table, when to ta ta bring it up again, because I'm not really sure well, while, um, while when we want to do it. Um, I just have a what I think will end up being it's a draft, but I believe it will be the schedule. We need to look at oh, in terms okay. of the run that up to town meeting. Helpful. That will be very helpful. Um, because then we can decide about that. So we, um, had, you know, we have town meeting on the 30th, possibly one one day in addition. Mm -hmm. We have to post the warrant. Um, the law requires a one week notice. Um, oh, you know what? If the planning board notice. hearing is on March 12th, um, yeah. let's see. Um, let's see. We're we're the seventh, the 21st. I mean, we can have additional meetings, but. Um, I actually did want to review that with you tonight was what your plan meeting schedule okay, is. Okay, so let's go, let's take two seconds to figure out what our meeting schedule is. So today's the 7th, or the 8th. We're, we're meeting of the 8th of the 7th meeting. So do you, the I, seat. I have a school committee meeting the 14th because of the snow day. Oh, here. okay. So I, I won't be around for the okay. evening that day. Um, I have a seat. CIPC meeting on the on the that night. Are you anyway. talking February for next yeah. week? Yeah. Yeah. What time is your meeting? Mine's at six. Okay, I was hoping five you could or six. Vote to open the warrant. Next. Okay. Oh well, I have a C CIPC at um, five thirty. Do you do you want we could meet at five? Uh, I'll say it's yes to that. So far, they're polling to find out whether. Their meeting at six or seven because it's Valentine's Day and people a lot. Uh, we were talking about and the Ash budget Wednesday. and we were worried that P and Ash Wednesday and we were worried people weren't going to be coming. You know, they go out to dinner with their significant other families or spend time with their families on Valentine's Day and we're discussing Unless the budget. Want to so schedule another Thursday I'm happy to do it. Um, excuse me, because did you say you have a school committee meeting that one? I do on the 14th. Oh, the 14th. oh actually, you know what? But the, the CIPC, CIPC is, is Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Thursday. Thursday. I'm thinking. A finance committee is at five. So I'd be happy to meet Thursday. If you want. So let's let you want to meet a little bit earlier on Thursday. Sure. We could do that. All right. Or after or whatever. Is the CIPC meeting. Five thirty. Five thirty. I'm sorry. I we'll uh, have our meeting before then. Or after. Or after. Uh yeah, we could do, do after. it after because yeah. if we right. go longer, you know, then yeah. we have to oh, put yeah, that yeah. in. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go after then. Well, so why don't we say seven o'clock then? 
Yeah, fine. Oh, that's Thursday that's at fine. seven. Yep. yep. The fifteenth. The fifteenth, which yep. is Thursday. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I got mixed up between the finance committee meeting, which is Wednesday the fourteenth, and the CIPC us, which is Thursday. Okay. Um, so and then, yeah, uh, we have our regular scheduled meeting on the twenty-first, um, right? And we have that um, at six. Yeah. Five o'clock. There's a marijuana meeting, and we have that marijuana UMass. interview. Oh, UMass that's what that is. Guy. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's UMass fine. People. Sure. So six o'clock on the twenty-first. Yep. So on the twenty-first is um, six is our regular meeting. Yep. Um, do you? We don't have anything scheduled for the twenty-eighth. I have a. Um, I can't meet earlier that night because I have a. The cancellation of my seeds and eads meeting at the FERCOG. Um, it was pushed off twice now mm -hmm. because of bad weather. Seeds. It's 20 what kind of seeds Comprehensive what kind economic of development. Oh. You know, I'm sorry. Do you, wanna, do you want to skip that week? The 28th? Yeah, we can skip the 28th. We don't have, we have, I uh, hope let to let get through more budget things tonight, but the there aren't seven. that many and we will have more next week. So we uh, can okay. wait on that if you'd like. Um, I just got to check. We could, uh, so then our next meeting, regular meeting would be March 7th. Is that a school committee meeting I'm for you? I'm just trying, I'm trying to check that now. Um, I could do the 8th if there's no snow on the first, because that's our tabletop exercise for all that elected officials yep. series. Um, school links, let's see. Let me just find the different elementary school. Um, Seventh looks like it is a meeting. Okay, um, we could meet the eighth. Would that be all right with you? April. Uh, no, March. March eighth. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm fine with. So um, you did the twenty eighth and the eighth. Uh, no, we're no. skipping the twenty eighth. Go right to the eighth. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay. And, we're, and then we're going to the eighth. What time because on the eighth? Um, what time do you want to do on the eighth? Six. Sure. Um, hopefully the first won't be a snowstorm. We might have to go a little bit later or a little bit earlier. Um, then, you know, we could meet on the 14th again. Could we meet on March 14th? Yep. Well, the reason why is because, because this would um, be after the planning board zoning okay. amendments and we could make a decision. So you want to on, do that on what, 14th? Yeah. So we can... We'll, we'll do a selectman's meeting on um, the 14th of March. And then, then we could decide on the... On the 28th, we close the warrant. Yeah. Well. Six o'clock as well? Yep. Yep. Is that okay with you, Wendy? I'm sorry, what was the last one, the 21st? D uh, the, 20 the 28th. 20 no, we're going to meet the 14th, and then we could meet on the... Um, 28th. 28th. And any other time I'd you like want you to meet. consider me on the 21st because okay. we okay. should have the um, warrant draft uh, for That's you fine. to read. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm fine sure. with the. Um, uh, well, we can meet. I think you, let's oh. just put them. Please just yeah. put them in for now. We'll so. put them in, and if we got it, yeah. Uh, you know. And then you want us on the 28th again, right? Yep, to close okay. the warrant. Uh, so we have. Uh, well, the closing well, of the warrant. Um, let me just explain what that is. Do you? Do you, yes. Do I need to explain that? No. Basically, you need to open the warrant and close the warrant, which alerts the the town that we are uh, people want to bring petitions for articles. And you know, I was going to have you adopt this at your meeting next week, but you could do this now, and that way I could send notices out to town officials, letting mm -hmm. them know that the warrant is opened tonight and will close on the 28th, and that gives the window of opportunity to submit. Any warrant articles. So, so let's just recap real quick, and then before we have the vote, um, we're going to meet um, on the fifteenth um, at seven o'clock of February. Mm -hmm. yep. We're going to meet on the twenty-first yep. 
of February at 6 o'clock. We're going to meet on the 8th of March at 6 o'clock. Yes. The 14th of March at 6 o'clock. The 21st of March at 6 o'clock. And the 28th of March at 6 o'clock. Right now. I mean, we can always yep. cancel the meetings yep. if we necessary, but let's just post them as... Okay, and so when do you want us to vote the warrant open? Um, well, you could do it next. You are when are you meeting next week? The fifteenth. Let's make it official because I didn't put it on the agenda. We'll do that. Then. I want okay. to just next. show you this draft and get yep. a comment on it, and then we'll I'm, put it I'm on fine next with week's this. agenda. I'm fine with the schedule. So by we the will way. change that though to February fifteenth. Yes. Yeah, and I'll have you do it at next week's meeting. But yes. if, okay. if there are any comments on this, yes. This is. A, a number of these things are in your bylaws. They have to be done, and some of it is statutory. So these dates are not random that I made up. They, they're plugged into a whole schedule. It needs to be yep. met. And, okay. Sounds good. No, it's fine, Wendy. So I will actually have you. That'll be on your agenda for next week. Okay. So take a look at that. That's fine. Um, the key thing you need to do tonight, of all the things I see left on your agenda, besides uh, the liquor license, the uh, uh, snow and ice and the a d district local the DLTA I have to get yeah. that in so. okay so let's do that real quick um, did you have you come your forms from last yes. time and you think about it yes um, it's this you got right here no I, I know I just oh. I don't know um, I have time to read this <clears throat> you know, well actually um, it was submitted last week and even earlier than that really? we discussed it at the last meeting and I said I'm giving it to you now to think about it and you did talk about it I know Trevor I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty well. um, yeah. I, I, I don't know about you but I, I have I'm pretty definitive that we want to do the complete streets yes me too definitely um, and we'll, well, can I just um, as I Diana said Diane was is helping help with that without. so I don't know how much we may not need for we, we, we might need yes. them on we that. might not need them on um, that okay. it's not that complicated there's it's internal okay. work um, didn't we just do that complete streets not that many years ago yes yeah but that was something else entirely as I explained this at the last just meeting says it that was what it was name. called it and was, um, it was something changed else changed with the new government now there's a new program under the Current and Trevor and I checked it out when we were. So we're going to have a policy for you, if not next week, so shortly thereafter, for you to okay. review so. and approve, and we'll run through the steps on how we go from here. And Is there a cost associated with that, completed streets? Uh, with them or? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we get local. No. They, they apply for money for a grant <coughs> to give us local assistance, so we have to tell them what. What we want to do with it, but does it cost us anything? No, no. But I have, I, I would. You talked about other priorities last week, and I do think that with Diana here, we can do this internally. We don't need their help well, on the complete and streets. And they, My main thing is Elm Street. You know, working on those sidewalks. And that's what that's we're part thinking of. of. Perfect. The focus of it, so. Perfect. That's great. Um, Deerfield. Mm -hmm. See, we're registered, mm -hmm. and they give us some credit for stuff, but. We haven't, under the new governor, we haven't done, jumped through his hoops yet. Okay. His hoops. No, I, ju I just wanted to know if there was a cost. I just wanted to know what yeah. it was and was involved. No, that's okay. So. Do you mind if I take, uh, we can vote for no. this, but I want to take this home tonight oh. and I'll give it back to you in the morning. Okay. Um, and that way, because you're not going to do anything with it tonight anyway, so. Um, no. So I, at least I'll have a chance to look it over and fill it out and I can give it back to you as to my ideas, but. Okay, you really um, so should vote as a, as a board, but we can work with that. We can work with okay. that. I just want to say what um, what I Go think ahead. would be useful. Yeah. I'm looking at page four. Yep. Yep. Um, on those boxes, uh, shared services, yeah. facilities management, on municipal grounds and buildings. That's yep. something that's we talked about among the four towns and the school. Yep. Um, human resource management uh, that didn't get off the ground through the cog, but it's to all the ten, all the communities need help in that area. Yes. And IT um, support yes. The regional have. services for IT. And then um, community compact. I'm still trying to. Uh, I just downloaded this incredibly long series of I ideas for that. Um, but okay, 
Um, so I'm going to mark it up with the input that you two have on, and you'll let me know in the morning yeah, on this. Yeah, I will. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I can't, I Okay. Go ahead. So what, what were you? No, I, I agree. I had the th I had the three things. We maybe discussed this together, Wendy, but that that was definitely the three that I I had as well. Um, and then um, community compact. You know, the financial management would be great. I know we started on some of that stuff when I first yes, started. Yes, and but actually, it, it's a, it's I have a after town meeting list to as finish an, that Brendan, Barbara, and I have, have revisited that. So we don't need Great. to put that on here. Okay, that's fine. We've already done that. And then on page three, you know, I just had the, the local official continuing education workshops, really important to me on that. Um, and collective those. purchasing ideas. Could yeah. you rank page three and four? Yes. That's what I would like you yes, to Yes, I can do that. Well, get, I've got a fresh I, one. Here. I mean, the, the continuing ed, Ed program is I have That's to say it's probably one. the one yeah okay. it's for me mm -hmm. I, I it's so important that we keep learning Absolutely. And, and, and be on the cutting edge of stuff because otherwise you never you're trying to mitigate impacts mm -hmm. to the town and what costs the town and stuff like that so could, could we put for number two the these things that I talked about these yes. looking at yes the, the shared facilities yep. Okay. yep is that all right and then the only other thing that um, we hadn't really discussed is, you know, I really was traumatized by the amount of work that we did for that project on Little Meadow Road, and that we actually got $792,000 to do the re uh, riverbank restoration, and we did. We had to give it back because we couldn't spend it by the time we got our, FEMA, you know, our mitigation plan approved by FEMA. So, I know our mitigation plan does not. We knew until 2019, mm -hmm. but it, I really feel like if um, the climate change information is available that you have to have in the new right. mitigation plans, I, I really want FERCOG just to do it and, and get it in line for us because, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen, and we might be in line right. for mitigation I'll, funds. I'll, I'll reconnect with them about that. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's really something, and that's something that would be such a drag for you to do. Oh, I can't do that. I, mean, it's I know, it's a drag. Thing. So you're saying that we, we were awarded grant money, but we couldn't? Um, you remember 2011, um, what happens is the state had, um, well, they had like giant blizzard in January. They had the tornadoes in, um, in this June. They had Irene, and then they had Snowtober. So there was like uh, three or four million dollars that was uh, allocated as the percentage of your disasters um, for that year go to the state. And so we applied, we did a cost analysis benefit because the sewer pipe is exposed between our sewer plant and Deerfield Academy. It's um, being undermined, the bank is washed away. So um, we applied, we did a cost-benefit analysis, and we did all kinds of jumping through the hoops to make the application work, and we, we were awarded $792,000 from that pot of money that was left over, that was awarded to the state from the 2011 disasters. And we got it, and we, but we couldn't spend the money until our FEMA plan, I mean our mitigation plan was approved, which was done the year before, sent to MEMA, stamped by MEMA, and sent to FEMA. And it waited in line for like, I don't know, a year and a half. So, you're, so the government all, allotted so, us money, but wouldn't approve our plan, so they took the money back. That's right. Well, one, one part of FEMA gave us the money, different. and another part of FEMA. I thought it was a HUD money. No, oh, well. it was okay. um, FEMA money. So let me just money. say about this. I think when we were going through selecting the consultant to work with us on the MVP plan, and I had many conversations with FERCOG about it. We came up with that we don't need the DLTA for a match given our our resources, staff resources. We can count that as an in-kind match. So really the question is, when can we start with them on updating this plan? Well, so. And that's why I want them to do it, because it seemed like we've already done the match. So why would we give that up? I think it's just that they want to do it in the, mo the ones that are up first, and ours isn't up for a year after these. Yeah, but if that that's what listed. we want, I don't think they have a choice, right? Um, 
well, well, I'll talk with them about that, yeah. and then I'll have them talk to you. <laughs> well, I mean, the problem was, Kip, you couldn't go out to bid and spend the money and get it installed in 14 months, and that's all we had left by the time our plan was included. And so that's why I'm kind of paranoid about this, because if some, we have another opportunity. We couldn't go out to bid and get it done okay. in 14 months? Why? No, because your, you can that if you need your, your procurement process would take more than 14 months. Yes, because you have, you have to advertise, you have to go out to bid, you have to get designs, the whole thing. And it takes, we couldn't spend the money. I don't know what happened here, but there were no problems with PVPC and their grants. So. I know. All right. Okay, so let's move on. You gotta go. Um, I mean, their plans. So uh, I see that Jay Savage wants to be appointed to the Ag Commission. I don't have a problem with that. If you'd like okay, to make, make a, a motion, motion to appoint Jay Savage to the Agricultural Commission. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Why does the term end in four uh, Because it's your four only months? It's a one year. But that doesn't But then you make all the appointments July for July okay, 1st. Okay, To make it all consistent. Well, Did you that? vote for Jay Savage for Ag Committee? Aye. Aye, okay. Um, the other thing is um, that we needed to do was, um, oh, um, I make a motion that we authorize the overspending for the um, snow and ice account for Kevin. I, I'm sure we did this already. I'm almost I thought you did, it. too. I, I, I put that in the message. But he, at any rate, I wasn't here. I'll he second did. the motion. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. We now covered for next year as well. <laughs> How um, is this? I know that we We've spoken about this, and there's like eighty thousand dollars in that snow and ice budget. So, this, if this is the second year that we've overdone it, why is we it? Do, we do. Well, it's in routine, general, right? we always overdo it, or so once in a while we under it. But it's just you do the average, and we actually kicked it up, I think, to ninety thousand this year. We did. Yeah. But um, in general, All right. if you do, if you if you budget too much, you can never go back. Yeah. Is that what you were asking? Like, why don't we, if we always spend over year, I mean, why don't we put like, yeah, because you don't want to, you don't want to authorize too much because it, because you can, it's the one account you can always overspend. Yeah. You're, you're allowed to do it by law as long as we authorize it, which, which we you do. can never go backwards, apparently. It used, the law used to require a finance year, committee too, but it no longer does. Really? Yeah. It's weird. It's gross. Makes sense, right? Government, you gotta love yeah, it. <laughs> exactly. Well, you don't want to put too much money into it because right. it just sits there. I mean, if you have well, it doesn't come back to the general fund. Yes, but it has to sit there for the whole year. Yeah. So you only want to do, you know. Anyway, it's a rolling average, and it, we did bump it up a little bit, but now it's legal. Um, do you have anything on the budgets? Uh, was there anything else that you needed? To well, the budgets. Uh, I just we just had a oh, few. Oh, oh, oh! We got to vote Johnny uh, Fig's license. Yes. Um, I make oh. a motion to uh, re-submit um, the liquor license for Johnny Fig's um, Johnny Fig's to the um, Alcoholic Beverages Perfect. Control Commission. I'll so, second the motion. Um, second is there any more discussion or any discussion? Nope. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, was there any other votes that you needed, Wendy? I don't think so, if you wanted okay. to vote on budget items, but again, there are only a couple. We've, st we're still working on some things, waiting for some okay. more information. The school budget, library, FERCOG assessment, um, transfer station expense. Um, okay. I was going to talk a bit about the planner position, um, but again, we can do that next week. Or, or you um, guys can keep talking. Contracted <laughs> services, we're nailing that down. I, um, well. Um, Keep okay. what you've got. Yeah. Did you tag them so that they, you know what we can talk about? Just next week, I'll put them on the agenda again since Carolyn needs to go. I'm going to make sure we have public comment. Do you have any comment from the gallery? No? Okay. okay. I just wanted to make sure oh, if, you, if, you, if yeah. you needed anything. I didn't want to yeah. close without um, making sure we had that. Um. Uh, and I, 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 one of the other things that I wanted to discuss could we put on for next week's? Agenda just to bring up um, is uh, uh, social media policy. I have copies of that, mm -hmm. and um, you know I went to that. Uh, we, we got a little discount on that. Uh, Carolyn, can insurance. you send it? To, I have I have quite a few of those. If you could okay. send it to it's, me um, and then I get it out so that you can all read it before the meeting. Okay. It's it's, it's the town of Easton. Um, I think I actually have enough copies. 
there's, there's, there's uh, appointed elected board official members, and there's also the town employees. There's what? also regular town employees. That's yeah, this is for next week to talk about. No, I guess I only have one of the town employees on here. Um, if, can I just give you these, Wendy? Mm -hmm. This is the for Facebook policy, and this is media policy for um, town employees. Um, I just want to get this real quick. Sure. I can scan I'm it. I'm sorry. Right I guess I picked up people. extra copies of the appointing elected board of committee members' social media policy, but not enough of the other ones. Um, and I also uh, picked up the MassWorks infrastructure program. This is the new MassWorks. And um, this is a road. Roadway safety in small rural communities is the one that I think we want to participate in. And um, the other thing is um, supporting blue economy. Um, I asked about that again, and um, that would cover a boat ramp up by Cheapside Bridge, mm -hmm. where the state owns. So I, I, I was thinking we could do that. Um, so that was one thing. And um, I don't think you get a boat ramp in there if you're talking on the same side of the street as that liquor store. Yeah. No, no, it's no, pretty, there's enough land. The, the, uh, it's pretty steep, though, is what I'm saying. It's, well, it's they, quite a they, the state was going to put in a handicapped accessible really? uh, boat ramp there, yeah, but then they never followed through. I mean, can I just say something about this social media policy for employees? This would go to the personnel board? Yes, we can right afford here, it. So. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just meeting Monday night. I have to catch up with them where they're at. I'll, give it, I'll deliver it to them. Did. That? Um, Did, uh, that, that's the other one. That I no, I'm just going to finish reading this. I, I just, um, I, I just, right I just, I just wanted, wanted to, to forget just. about it. I was curious. Do you know if the finance committee did anything with OPAB yet? The other night, or did they? No. They just they, they, tabled uh, it so far. They were implored upon by uh, four women sitting at the table: Carolyn, myself, um, um, Barbara, and um, Brenda. Okay. Is, and we left it, and I believe Carolyn said this, we, they need to come up with a policy. Yeah, I mean, I so had we, suggested a policy, but um, <laughs> what I'm, is this? This is, um, this is about emergency borrowing. This is um, uh, information that I got on uh, mastering paperwork. Impossible. Well, give it to me. I'm the one who needs it the most. <laughs> Mastering paperwork and emergen emergency paperwork. Oh. Emergency management. Oh, is this I, the I wanted to make sure. Did I, give you I think this? I did this Trevor? training. Did I just yep. give you that? Yep. Okay. Um, so give this. To yeah, me. I did the training. Um, uh, here's here's another one of those. Did oh, I, I don't. No, I don't. No, give that to Wendy. She oh, has one. you don't want this. No. Did you? Did I give you this, Trevor? And this is um, emergency borrowing. You got that. I did. That. Okay, and this is the information on the contracts. I thought you might want more of this because this gives you some information. And, there, and this is the public checklist. We did a lot down there. Yeah. <laughs> Where was this? Where did you get that? This is all from MEMA. From this, is me this is oh, the that. meeting okay. I went to um, in January. The, um, this is that elected officials. Um, yep. Emergency preparedness, mastering the paperwork. I don't think that's I think that's impossible. What? No, mastering the paperwork. It's all online now. That's it's going to change, oh. but it changes. So. Oh, I know. But it's really, really important, Kip. It's worth just familiarizing yourself with it because, like I said, we could get so screwed, and it, and you can't we can't afford it. And I um and the, and the whole idea is they just don't want to pay, so you're going to be on top of stuff. Well, well you like you just said, we here, had all that money, copy. and it was uh, oh. care. Okay, this is. I know, but here, here's a clean copy. Take back the, my chicken scratch. Um, snowstorms are not considered an emergency. Not there's there's no approval for our ice and snow accounts. That's um, we knew that. But I, I think one of the decisions that's really important is you know the state house knows that's that's good for. You know, if we if we have to work with FEMA, it might be worthwhile doing state house notes instead of, you know, it's a very cheap um, 
amount of money, you know, the interest rates is very cheap, like 1% or something, um, versus us just borrowing money or, or taking it even out of stabilization. Because you're supposed to be reimbursed. If, we're, if we fill out the paperwork correctly. Well, I was looking at it, we don't get that much interest on our stabilization funds anyways. I know. Well, and speaking, of, speaking of which, of um, we don't get much interest on a lot of what we do. So I was going through the portfolio of, of our mm -hmm. CPA funds, all of our other stuff with Bartholomew. And I, I just, I told Barbara I'd love to be in on that conversation when they come and present again. Because if you look at rate of returns, I mean, based even on last year was crazy uh, market. We, you know, everybody's 401k and all that, you know, and, and we're so conservative that we got like nothing for a rate. Of, I mean, we got some, but it's not anywhere near what the market was. And I get, yeah, so. that, and that, that will be a, an interesting debate because I, although I, I agree and I, I, I do, you know, use the stock market. Mm -hmm. It kind of brings me back to uh, when Bush was president, he wanted to put a lot of the Social Security in that. I understand. You know, if, and it's like everything else. If you win, it's great. But if mm -hmm. you lose, it's devastating, you know? So. But on, on long-term long -term stuff like CPA funds or whatever that you're not going to spend in yep. you know, the next five years or something or even I think it longer. might be worth having Barbara come in and talk about the yeah. constraints exactly. that exist on public money. In terms of liquidity, and, of course, I'm not uh, saying it should all stuff. go in high no, risk. No, I think it'd be very informative. Yeah, so. I agree. Well, it, it would be a good conversation. You know? mm -hmm. It's interesting. We should all listen to that for sure. And let's well, make sure we're getting a good rate of return. I think it's been at least five, five or six years since we. Uh, well, I think it Looked actually it was when we had the stock market crash. Was the last time everybody was interested, <laughs> and of course today no, dumped about had, a thousand. I know, but we had a real conversations and. You know, just before the stock market crashed, because people were worried that it mm -hmm. was something was happening, and we ended up not doing anything. Which, thankfully, we did not do anything. Right. But um, before you leave, let me ask you: Where did the conversation go about using CPA funds for the sidewalks? Can oh, I, I don't can't. think we can. can. I asked Wendy. You can about use that. CPA for historic preservation, recreation, housing. What was the other oh, one? I just told space. you that. O open, open space. Open space, yeah. concept, like buying land to protect. But you can't replace the sidewalks in front of old buildings. No. Huh. Okay. I know I asked. If there was a hitching post that had just... <laughs> uh, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I know you are. <laughs> I, but know. I, you know, I know. I'm serious. I'm serious, too. <laughs> I, I mean, I think if you put in cute light, um, you know, lamp posts, I don't see why that... You could struggle a little. They would have to actually be historic lamp. And I think they'd have to be. We'd have know, to gas it. They'd have, well, they'd have to resemble something in a historic picture that, you know. I just, I don't know. Well, just everybody would be doing put a candle in it. Were you, would speaking of sidewalks, did you, were you successful reaching out to anybody oh, on yeah. the sidewalks? Good. Um, when I have some information, I will oh, bring thank it Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, that's good. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. Um, All those in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Enjoy your next meeting.